As the community mourns, new details are emerging about those five victims. Case Area 3's Linda Mumba continuing our team coverage right now. She's from the crime scene, and it's become a memorial now, Linda. Yeah, Goldson and Edie, and tonight that memorial is growing as we're learning more about two additional victims identified uh, in connection to the murder here at this home. This afternoon, police identified the other woman, as you mentioned earlier, is 57 year old Ann Brown Romero, the mother of the suspect, and the five year old girl as a relative who police say was dropped off Saturday morning to spend the day with family. While investigators work to find out what happened behind these doors, a makeshift memorial continues to grow in front of the home where the bodies of two mothers and three young girls were found Saturday afternoon. I was shocked, absolutely shocked. I live around the corner, and um, I, my first thought was not her, not her. One victim, Dr. Amanda Cruz, was a popular Stanislaus County Health Department physician. And I uh, worked with Amanda Cruz at Doctors Medical Center while she was doing her residency there. Um, and she was just the loveliest lady, a dear, dear friend, and a wonderful colleague. She would do, uh, she was not only a patient advocate, she was an uh, advocate for the nurses as well, and everyone just adored her. Also found murdered six month old Rachel, who family members say the suspect Martin Martinez fathered with Cruz, and six year old Elizabeth Ripley. They identified as Cruz's daughter with the previous husband. Oh, I just, uh, it's sad. It's hard. I just feel for the family what they're going through. Today, Elizabeth's preschool teacher was among the dozens of people who stopped by to drop off flowers for the little girls. Got the family and our hearts go out to them. And shared this memory of the mother and child. I was thinking back on how Elizabeth would get dropped off by her mom Amanda at the daycare and how Amanda would hop with her all the way to her cubby and she would hop all the way back to the door and then they would always say goodbye at the window. They're going to be missed. In the meantime, police say that the investigation here at the home is far from over. Investigators are still processing evidence collected inside the house, and detectives have been going door to door, talking with neighbors, friends, and family here out at the scene. Reporting live in Modesto, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News.